Hello, and welcome to the presentation. This is one of a series of presentations on Microsoft licensing, and today we'll be talking about Windows Server 2008 licensing, including the common licensing models, some use scenarios, and how to purchase and get the most from your solution. Additional presentations in this licensing series can be found at www.learnlicensing.com. Let's get started. Windows Server 2008 is the most advanced Windows Server operating system yet, designed to power the next generation of networks, applications, and web services. Windows Server 2008 gives you the ability to deliver rich web-based experiences efficiently and effectively with improved administration and diagnostics, development and application tools, and lower infrastructure costs. With its built-in server virtualization technology, Windows Server 2008 enables you to reduce costs, increase hardware utilization, and optimize your infrastructure, and improve server availability. Windows Server 2008 is the most secure Windows Server ever. Its hardened operating system and security innovations, including network access protection, federated rights management, and read-only domain controller provide unprecedented levels of protection for your network, your data, and your business. Windows Server 2008 is the most flexible and most robust Windows Server operating system to date. With new technologies and features such as Server Core, PowerShell, Windows Deployment Services, and enhanced networking and clustering technologies, Windows Server 2008 provides you the most versatile, and reliable Windows Server platform for your workload and application requirements. Windows Server 2008 is licensed with three models. Windows Server 2008 Standard and Enterprise Editions use a Server Client Access or CAL model. Windows Server 2008 Data Center and Itanium use a Processor and CAL model. Windows Server 2008 Web Server uses a per-server model. Windows Server 2008 is licensed for a running instance. Every running instance of the server requires a Windows Server license. A running instance begins and a corresponding license is required when any of the files are executed. A running instance ends when the software is removed from the hardware's memory. Windows Server 2008 Standard and Enterprise Editions uses a Server Cal model. A client access license is required in order to access and use the server software. Either a Windows Server 2008 Cal or Core Cal may be used to access the server software. A Cal is not required if access to the server software is via the internet and is unauthenticated, for example, accessing a website for general information where no identifying credentials are exchanged. Windows Server 2008 Itanium and Data Center versions use a processor CAL model. Every running instance of the server software requires the purchase of a Windows Server license for each assigned processor. A Windows Server 2008 client access license, a Windows CAL, is required in order to access and use the server software. For all Windows servers except Web Edition, your CALs must be the same or newer version than the installed version of the server. Windows Server CALs are part of the core CAL, which is available through OpenValue, Select, and Enterprise Agreement programs. If you would like to allow your business partners or customers to access your network, you have two licensing options. Acquire Windows CALs for each of your external users or acquire external connector licenses for each copy of the Windows Server 2008 software that will be accessed by your external users. The external connector license gives the right for any non-employees to access the licensed server. Windows Server 2008 Web Edition uses a server model. 
Every running instance of the server requires the purchase of a Windows Server license. No CALs are required. There are two types of CALs. Per-user CALs are ideal for organizations that have employees who use multiple devices to access the network. They allow licensed users to access the server network from any device. Per-device CALs are ideal for organizations that have multiple users for one device, such as shift workers. They allow any user to access the server network on any licensed device. If you are looking at multiple server products, Core CALs or Enterprise CALs can be a good alternative. In addition to the standard licensing models, there are other scenarios you may encounter. Terminal server environments have additional licensing requirements. A terminal server client access license is required in addition to a Windows Server CAL to use terminal server or otherwise host a remote graphical user interface session. IT professionals can use terminal services for remote management without acquiring a terminal services CAL. More details on terminal services are available in the terminal services presentation. Step-up licenses are an effective solution for moving from Windows Server Standard to Windows Server Enterprise. Any Windows Server Standard Edition license with software assurance can be upgraded to Enterprise Edition with a step-up license. If you have software assurance for Windows Server CALs or Windows Server 2008 CALs, no new CALs are required. If you would like to allow your business partners or customers access to your network, you have two licensing options. Acquire Windows Server CALs for each of your external users or acquire external connector licenses for each copy of Windows Server 2008 software that will be accessed by your external users. The external connector license is required for each server accessed by non-employees and gives the right for any non-employees to access the server. Server virtualization enables multiple operating systems to run on a single physical machine as virtual machines. Windows Server 2008 Hyper-V, the next generation hypervisor based server virtualization technology, allows you to make the best use of your server hardware investments by consolidating multiple server roles as separate virtual machines running on a single physical machine. The new Hyper-V technology is a key feature of the Windows Server 2008 core operating system and Microsoft provides customers with the choice of deploying Windows Server 2008 without this technology. Without Hyper-V, a customer will need to separately license the hypervisor technology, whether it is Hyper-V, Microsoft's virtual server, R2, or a third-party hypervisor technology. Server virtualization can add efficiency to help you get the most from your servers and operating costs. Windows Server 2008 editions provide different virtualization use rights to meet different needs. Standard Edition may use one physical server environment, or OSE, plus one virtual OSE. Enterprise Edition may use one physical OSE, plus up to four virtual OSEs. Data Center Edition may use one physical OSE, plus an unlimited number of virtual OSCs. Every virtual running instance of the server software may only run on a licensed server. When running two instances in the standard edition, one physical and one virtual, or all five instances in the enterprise edition, one physical and four virtual, the instance of the server software running in the physical operating environment may only be used to manage and service the operating system environments on the server. Any virtual instances beyond the one for standard or four for enterprise edition require additional Windows Server licenses. 
all users or devices accessing virtual instances of Windows Server will need a CAL. In a virtualized or other operating environment, you have rights to move your server software. For volume licensing customers, the underlying physical operating system license may only be reassigned to another server every 90 days or in the event of a fatal server incident. Choosing the best licensing option can help you get the most from your technology solution. How you buy significantly impacts what rights and benefits you receive, which can enhance the value of your solution, and that is especially relevant with the Windows Server family. Let's review the highlights of your licensing options. If, if you need fewer than five licenses and or CALs, licensing options for the Windows Server include OEM System Builder or Full Package Product Retail. OEM software can be purchased only when buying the hardware, is supported by the OEM, and cannot be transferred from the original hardware on which it was installed. FPP software is typically the most costly, but is good for low volume licensing needs. What you do not get with OEM or FPP are the rights to reimage or downgrade, which can help deploy, manage, and cost effectively support a consistent desktop experience. Volume licensing provides reimaging and downgrade rights. Any organization can purchase through volume licensing if they need more than five licenses or CALs. Open license is for businesses that need at least five licenses. Upfront payment is required and software assurance is optional. This is the most simple volume licensing program. Open value also requires a five license minimum, but allows annual payments or an upfront payment option, provides a three year agreement, and includes software assurance. Open value subscription provides the lowest upfront cost of all the open license programs and has a three year renewable agreement. Each of the open programs are available from any Microsoft reseller. Software Assurance is only available through volume licensing. Software Assurance is a comprehensive maintenance offering that helps you get the most out of your software investment. In addition to the flexibility you get from volume licensing use rights, Software Assurance can add a lot of value throughout your use life cycle to help you deploy, manage, and migrate software. Software Assurance for servers includes 24 by 7 problem resolution support, a TechNet Plus Direct subscription, unlimited web support, e-learning courses and labs, cold backup rights for disaster recovery, and new version rights. There are qualifying rules for software assurance benefits. For more information on software assurance, ask your reseller or view the software assurance broadcast in this series. You can choose software assurance at the time of purchase and begin using your benefits immediately. OEM and FPP server software can have software assurance added through a volume licensing program within 90 days of the license purchase. The server acquires the volume licensing use rights of the volume licensing program the software assurance is purchased through. Please visit www.learnlicensing.com for an accompanying download reference card outlining the major principles of this presentation and a resource list to get more information related to this topic. You will also find additional licensing presentations covering licensing principles and in-depth product licensing models at this site. Thanks for joining this presentation on Microsoft Windows Server 2008 licensing.